morning, everybody, or hi, whatever time zone you're in. <laughs> um, I always feel that. I um, hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's just finished doing that waiting thing. Um, just been rushing around getting my morning walk done. Um, because they're bringing in the compulsory mask wearing in Melbourne, I won't do any more walking lives. So that's a bit of a bummer in a way because I was enjoying showing you guys my neighbourhood. But, you know, rules are rules. And I think this one's a fair one, so I'm going to follow that. Um, yeah, so hopefully everyone around Melbourne has managed to get a mask or 50 to wear and rotate. Um, and, and is all ready for tonight's deadline for um, getting all that organised. I have a huge day today, so um, I wanted to share a little bit about that just because I'm getting to teach um, some students at Deakin University about convict history, um, the ways that the convict heritage in Australia has impacted us um, more broadly. And looking at material culture from that time, um, I had some great conversations with my cousin Helen over the last couple of weeks actually about work that she's doing um, around art history and convict, um, convict art. So I'm going to draw on her knowledge base a little bit and share that with the students. Um, and so I posted up in history chat a couple of the things that I found while I was preparing for the classes. So hopefully that has been interesting or um, just that it's jogging your memory if these are things that you've seen before, like the love tokens and stuff that people were um, giving to their loved ones when they were um, going to be far apart. Uh, there's also the Raja quilt. I might put up a link to that, which I hadn't seen before, but it's by some convict women. Um, they work together to make a quilt. So that is another really um, interesting part of the heritage. And then um, it kind of links in with what I was talking about yesterday and um, Kate Grenville's new book, so Early Colonial Australia and um, looking at interactions. And I read her book, The Lieutenant and The Secret River, and um, thinking about the ways in which encounters between cultures are represented, I think um, that's going to be something that I talk about today too. And um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. And then I also have a couple of other meetings today, but I wanted to share all that. And then hopefully there are some more people interested in reading Kate Grenville's new book. I'm going to put up the link. I think that the National Library recorded the launch that she did with um, Claire Wright and I haven't watched that yet but I'm keen to. What I did watch last night was this amazing um, conference recording that Vicky Greaves sent through to me so thanks Vicky for that. It's from the University of the West Indies and man it sounds like an amazing university so I want to share that link so that um, anyone from the Pacific who I've worked with can get it because I think it will be as exciting for you as it was for me to listen to, especially even just the opening talk, the keynote by the, um, oh, what was his name? Becker, I think it was. Um, I think he's their VC. So he he's a historian. Hooray! And, um, and so he was linking in some discussion about activism and universities and, and stuff like that. Um, which I think would also be interesting for people who are associated with Bachelor Institute, but definitely USP and PAU would be interested in this as well, I think. I mean, yeah, I, I keep thinking about all the amazing networks that could be starting to um, build up between different regions, and that's one that I think could be really exciting. Uh, so I'll share that today too. Um, I think that was all I wanted to say. I was just thinking about um, some of the the books that I'm reading. So I've I've just got Kate Grenville's new book on Audible, so that'll be me. And I know um, Peter's got it through reading, so that'll be good. So at least there's going to be two of us, Peter, that are sitting and discussing this. <laughs> and I will I shall um, be supplying my own wine. Thank you very much. So it will be an interesting and entertaining 
spectacle, I'm sure, <laughs> by the end. Um, and then, the, so the other books, uh, I've, there was a great um, book launch also in the US that I got to listen to through YouTube. Um, they did a live stream through Haymarket Books, I think it was, for Eric Glaude's book on James Baldwin. And I've been listening to that on Audible as well. Oh, the writing is so beautiful. And yeah, I've just been listening to James Baldwin um, through that documentary that's come out about him on Netflix. So I recommend that to you. And um, thinking about his life and his work through Eric Glaude's book has been really amazing. So um, I recommend that. I might put a link to that to the talk and the book because I really I recommend those. Um, and talking about being witness to really intense moments of um, challenging the state and the status quo and trying to make sense of it and just the hard parts of life, I think. Um, yeah, so well worth listening to or reading. I'd really like to get a hard copy of that book actually because I think there's a bunch of stuff that I like to like highlight or put in post-it notes like I used to do. Um, yeah, anyway, I better go because my first meeting for the day is about to start. But I hope you all have a good day. And oh, I wanted to put a call out for those of you who are elsewhere outside of Victoria and outside of Melbourne. Can you please, if you see any funny memes, can you send them to me so I can put them up in the Survive and Thrive um, while working from home feed? Or you can share them there yourself. I just, um, I don't want it to be so Melbourne centric, but that's all that's coming up in my news feed, thanks to the stupid algorithms. <laughs> so um, yeah, I need help sourcing material. I did find one about <laughs> um, cars being made in um, post-Brexit Britain, which I've seen has got some um, some laughs already. So that's good. But yeah, there's, there's work to be done in that domain. <laughs> so, um, so please help. All right. Uh, have a good day, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon.